Following the collapse of the Face Punch Republic, an era known as the Great Decay began. The server was extremely inactive due to the fact that it went down for three months and changed domain names. The Great Decay be can be considered the early Middle Ages of 2v2t history. Some Face Punchers attempted to prevent the collapse of the Republic after Chez had resigned. Their final base, 2k2k, located at negative 2000, negative 2000, was griefed and rebuilt numerous times before it finally fell sometime after June 2012, which marks the end of the Face Punch Republic. Members of the communities that had played on 2b2t began to merge together and form somewhat of a common identity on the server. 4 chaners no doubt had the greatest impact. Without them, the server would not have become the chaotic and politically incorrect place it is now. It is, however, plain wrong to say that the other communities didn't make a big impact on the server and its culture. Face punchers remained on the server long after the conflict and founded two bases, Hitlerwood and Anatolia, around early 2013. The founders of these two groups avoided the mistakes of their predecessors and did not reveal its location to anyone who asked them. Hitlerwood was founded by a team led by a player named Coldwave, and Anatolia by Sato86, Pyrobite, and Drew Bookman, the latter being the main base of a group known as the Black Flag Group. Around April or May 2013, these groups merged to form Valkyria, undoubtedly one of the most powerful and influential groups in the history of the server, at one point having around 70 members. They initially gained a large amount of power and wealth through a now patched duplication exploit present in the 1.4.7 version of the game. They were represented by a symbol resembling an eagle made of obsidian that was present in all of their bases. It is commonly mistaken for a pickaxe and was used as a substitute for the plain black obsidian flag used by the black flag group. Valkyria was responsible for the first in a long series of conflicts known as the Incursions. It acquired the nickname of the Boredom Incursion due to the fact that it was used as a challenge to Valkyria after its members had become bored of simply building bases and because they had extremely powerful armor compared to most other people on the server. One of the founders, Hindej, had the idea of invading Spawn, and in June of 2013, the plan was set into action. They chose 2k2k as their target, as they considered it a new fag haven. They depended on farms that were built nearby by players who had gone to spawn ahead of the incursion. It failed after a week due to a lack of organization, griefers, and lack of PvP experience. It wasn't considered any kind of major failure due to it simply being a challenge that the Valkyrians decided to take on and failed to. Shortly after the incursion, Drew Bookman griefed the group's eponymous base over its frustration at the fact that some newcomers to the group began stealing from and killing other members. Soon afterwards, IGN would make a video entitled Six of the Most Amazing Things in Minecraft. This increased the number of players who joined as 2B2T spawn was included in the video. The increased number of players that spawn would be a catalyst for the second incursion, also known as the Chaotic Incursion. Its goal too was to establish a Valkyrian foothold on spawn and kill any new players that they see. It started in August of 2013, about two months after the first incursion. Bolagos, Radamantis, and Valkyria were used as bases during the incursion. Numerous roadways were built to make it easier to kill any targeted players. This enabled Valkyria to establish a proper foothold on the spawn for about two and a half months, with some estimations for players killed by Valkyrian forces in the thousands. Later the Valkyrians had discovered terrain, which to them was a perfect place to build a base at, that featured a lake underneath two stone overhangs. It was to be named Asgard, now retroactively known as Asgard 1, but was griefed before its completion. This resulted in a large number of members of Valkyria to leave the server, giving way to the group's fall. After Valkyria's fall, the Legion of Shenandoah and the Gape group remained, the former taking heavy influence on the Valkyrians and consisting of second incursion members, and the latter taking its name from being based in a giant hole in the ground. The hole was eventually griefed and lava casted, but a second hole, much further from spawn named Gape 2.0 was later created. The Legion of Shenandoah had two bases, Fenrir and Nova. Valkyria was revived by a union of these two groups and created Asgard II, the successor of Asgard. The base suffered a similar fate to its predecessor, as its coordinates were leaked due to internal strife between several members of the group. It resulted in players escaping or contributing to its destruction to ensure that no single person could take credit for destroying the great base. The fall of Asgard II would eventually result in the third incursion, also known as the Wrath Incursion. It was intended to be more organized than the first two in order to bring the Valkyrians together and ensure the group's survival, and to be less violent than the second. The third incursion was used as an intimidation tactic towards Valkyria's enemies, with the creation of a large ominous base known as Wrath, for which the conflict is named above spawn. It was made of obsidian to show how powerful the group was, and to strike fear into players who saw it, due to its dark color. 
The third incursion was successful in proving to players opposed to Valkyria that they were forced to be reckoned with. However, Valkyria began to dissolve once again. Many players moved to Aryu City, another base built by the Valkyrians during this time. The server became relatively peaceful compared to other parts of the server's history, as this period would come to be known as the Consolidation Era. In October of 2015, Vice made an article on the server, and later in February of 2016, when it was released on Rock Paper Shotgun. It caused some players to join the server, but it didn't last nearly as long as the targets of the other three incursions and were quickly suppressed. This event has earned the nickname of the Mini Incursion, but it isn't usually included under the list of mainline incursions. 2B2T has been backdoored numerous times throughout its history, the first backdoor taking place in late 2011 and early 2012. The backdoor resulted in an event known as Pop Bob's Reign of Terror, as the infamous Creeper was able to use a Too Many Items mod to get items, which gave the face punchers and allowed the creation of a comet made of bedrock and material unobtainable in vanilla survival to be made, as well as a town named Pug in Town. Eventually, Pop Bob's access to these powers were revoked, resulting in the end of his Reign of Terror. This also resulted in Thunder being disabled as it was used to track down the location of players. The method, known as Thunderhack, involved having two accounts in two locations and keeping track of the direction Thunder occurs in on both, which could triangulate the position of players, as Thunder only occurs in loaded chunks. The second backdoor occurred in late 2013. A plugin written for the server by iTristan and Pyrobyte had code inserted into it that allowed them to obtain hacked items, most notably 32k weapons, weapons that had enchantment levels of 32,767. As a result, the arms race began, a three year long search for the items produced by the two players via the back door. Other than Valkyria, other groups existed during the resurgence period, such as Team Uber Slug Cake, which had the motto, Dedication, Motivation, Acceleration. It was made around early 2014 and had the purpose of repairing spawn, giving food to players in exchange for them helping. They had some bases that used as a foothold in repairing spawn, one of which was known as the official Uber base. The group met an early end when all of its bases were destroyed by a group Uber Slugcake calls the Backdoor Crew. Other groups during this period included the Vortex Coalition, a group that accepted mostly anyone who wished to join it, thus constituting a large proportion of 2B2T's small player base in its early days. It gained notoriety for being a spammy group that constantly advertised itself using a bot account. Another group included Team Sun, a more obscure group that originated outside of 2B2T that had the purpose of trolling Minecraft kids. After that server closed down and its owner ousted, they moved on to 2B2T and became regulars on the server. The first executioners were less of a group and more of an idea that developed on 2B2T. It had few core members, giving anyone who associated themselves within the group considerable autonomy in doing what they want, the only time that they would mobilize under one banner being during incursions. A server known as Project Vault was created to host downloads of the world files of various bases and structures from 2B2T. Its owner made the server private but planned to accept payment in exchange for access. The owner was unable to continue management of the server due to their financial problems. J.D. Dinger, another user who owned the server hosting role downloads, was willing to host the vault, but its owner declined, wishing to stay in control of the world themselves. It was clear that the vault would not last due to its owner's financial problems and their unwillingness to give it up to somebody else. After a video by FitMC on the server, many users were reluctant to give world downloads to it. The creator eventually went inactive, and so J.D. Dinger took matters into his own hands and put the world files onto his own server, entitling it the museum, to separate it from the vault due to the controversy that surrounded Fitz's video and the server. The museum was made free and public, and was paid through J.D. Dinger's own money, as well as some donations from other users. As a result of the failure of Project Vault, Fit was enraged at that fact, and accused the server's owners of using it to scrape the IP addresses of people who joined it. The accusation wasn't taken seriously by the community and failed to ruin the museum's reputation. The attempt at ensuring that the identity of the vault's owner was not publicized failed. The owner was confirmed as being a user named Spartan512, whose name was leaked during Fitz's livestream of the server. During this time period, various odd occurrences happened regarding the owner of the server. First, the emails from the owner changed from being a nice tone to a more rude one, and the email headers had changed from being written in Swedish, Sweden being Housemaster's home country, to English. In late July 2014, a message appeared on the server website saying that House had handed over control of the server to an anonymous friend. In late 2015, a player named Jared2013 had destroyed Imperator's base, and shortly after intended on targeting another base, known as the Lands. In order to do this, he recruited several fellow players. At first, Taylor112, 
Ethan Cartman, who along with Talo discovered an exploit that allowed teleportation using beds in the nether. Then I Tristan, who was able to get into contact with someone who could complete the chain of beds that allowed the teleportation to commence. Bob Bob. This would result in the formation of a group known as the Tyranny. Allegedly, one of their goals was to take over control of the server from its owners. A fifth member, Clyde A, joined in April 2016. The group had a large bedrock base known as the Archive, which contained various legal items, either hacked or apparently given to them by George Bush 420. Other than the bad teleportation exploit, they used an exploit that allowed flying in boats below the nether and V-clipping. Additionally, the group was able to uncover the password to George Bush 420 via a database leak from another site, and subsequently abused the powers the account had. The Tyranny was responsible for the week of destruction, in which one base was destroyed every day for that week. The first bases to be destroyed were Space Valkyria 1 and 2, the former being griefed before in the year prior by several 2B Tyranny members. The other griefed bases include Kinograd, Silver Shekel Stash, the Cool Kids Club, several Stoop Stashes, with the one with the most members participating being the structure of Ormonger's Clock Base, among other bases, including Uber Slug Cakes Base, the Tyranny being the group that he referred to as the Backdoor Crew. The Archive's coordinates were eventually leaked to Jack the Ripper, the owner of one of the destroyed Doop Stashes. The legitimate owner of the George Bush 420 account regained access to it, and afterwards the exploits were patched. As a result of the April 2016 backdoor scandal, the server was left in a similar state of disrepair that preceded the age of resurgence, sometimes with only one player being on at once. However, it wouldn't take long for an unwelcome visitor to give the server another resurgence and change the world of 2B2T forever.